Good morning and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, you voted on it and today we have your September Patron's Choice workout ready for you. It is a kettlebell crusher. It will involve strength and cardio. It will have a rep pyramid, some hit, and two rounds of brutal true Tabata. So, what you're gonna need for this workout is, of course, your kettlebells, if you have them. If you don't, just sub out dumbbells. Um, any of these moves can be done with dumbbells. So, don't be discouraged, don't turn away. If this wasn't your choice for this month, just crush it with the equipment that you have and do an amazing job, okay? So, other than kettlebells, you're obviously gonna need a lot of water, as you can see from my sweat fest here. Um, you're gonna need a towel to sop up that sweat fest and you are going to need to strap on your can-do attitude, okay? Every time I see a pyramid workout, even if I ride it myself, I get scared to death. But I finished it, I know you can finish it. Um, if you need to alter the amount of reps that you do for the pyramid because of time or just because of fatigue, go ahead and do that and use this as a benchmark for your progress, okay? Don't see it as a failure if you can't complete the whole pyramid. See it as a place to start, okay? So, once you've kind of got your mind right, wrapped around what you're going to be doing today, and once you have all your equipment and your can-do attitude strapped on, I will see you back here for your warm-up. All right, guys, let's get this kettlebell party started with a good warm-up. All right, you're just going to come to the center of your mat. You're going to make some circles with your knees. Get them nice and warmed up. This feels super silly to do, but... It is a really good way to warm up those joints and that connective tissue that we're ready to do some nice pistol squats. <laughs> All right, go the other way. You may hear some crackling and popping. Normal, normal, as long as it doesn't hurt. Let's do one more. Excellent. All right. So, we're just going to do some rear taps at first, just to kind of work into that range of motion with the knees, and then we'll go into a reverse lunge. I'm keeping a nice hip hinge here so that I can feel it into my glutes and help them get activated and ready to work. All right, as you feel warm, you can step it back a bit further into that lunge. warming up our hip flexors here, the glutes, all of those things we're going to need for this fun pyramid and hip set and to body set. All right, let's do one more each side. do a little bit of warming up that lateral movement next with some side lunges. Our next move we're going to pick up a light kettlebell and warm up with it so that we can take that bell to its full range of motion and potential during this workout. I'm a little scared of this one. I'm always scared of the pyramid workout, but you should always do the things that scare you, so a pyramid workout with pistols in it. All right, one more each side. Excellent. I'm just going to take a small bell. I've got 15 pounds here. We're going to squat it, push, press it up. Press it up, opening up the shoulders here, getting the lats ready to work, still working into those legs as well. Sometimes it takes my legs a long time to wake up. So if yours are the same way, be gentle with them, give them extra time to warm up. Don't rush it. You don't want to still be warming up 
while doing pistol squats. <laughs> you want to make sure your joints are ready. A couple more here. All right, let's take that same bell and warm up some swings. Really focus on thrusting from the hip, not squatting. This can help us warm up our hamstrings and our glutes, even though we don't have a lot of weight. Make sure you have a firm grip on that bell for lots of reasons. Excellent. All right, guys, your warm-up is finished. What I would like for you to do before we get into this pyramid set is go ahead and try a few pistols or single leg squats or whatever you're going to do for that move and make sure that you are fully warm and ready to tackle this pyramid with me. Okay? See you in a minute. All right, guys, let's get right into that pyramid. We have reps one through eight, so we're going to climb from one rep of every move up to eight. We've got ninja swings, which I'll show you in just a second. I'd like to think that I came up with that move, but it's probably been out there before. Uh, we have rows on the left, we have pistols on the left, swings again, rows on the right, pistols on the right, and squat to high pull. Now, the ninja swing is basically either a ninja jump or you could do a surrender here, just like that, okay? Um, so you've got your ninja, come up, swing, reset, okay? That's a ninja swing. Um, I am also going to use a small weight for the pistol squats. So if you are not at a point where you feel like you are balanced enough or strong enough to hold a kettlebell while you're doing the pistol squat, please don't do it, okay? I'm just going to use 10 pounds, um, and it's taken me a long time to even think about wanting to hold anything while I'm doing a pistol squat, so I get it. Do it body weight or do one of your modifications, um, single leg squat, single leg box squat, something like that, okay? do what works for you, all right? So I guess we shouldn't wait anymore. We should get into this lovely pyramid, all right? So ninja or surrender swings, okay? That's one. Now we're gonna go straight into rows for one rep on the left. One. Pistol on the left. So I'm gonna grab my small bell Pull it towards the front. One little wobble, no big deal. All right, now we're going to do a swing, just a standard swing. One. Now we're going to row on the right. Awesome. Now we're going to pistol on the right. It's okay if you wobble. It's okay if you fall over. Squat, high pull. For one. All right. Let's mark that off. We'll go to round number two. All right. All right, round two. Ninja swings. One. Remember, you can do a surrender there. Instead of a ninja. That's two. Two rows on the left. One, two, two pistols on the left. There we go. One more. Very good, no wobbles. Swings, two of them. One, two. Rows on the right. One, two. Very good. Pistols on the right. One, two. Squat high pull for two. 
One, two. Very good. Round two is knocked out. Back for round three. How are you guys doing so far? Here we go. One. Two. Really squeeze at the top of that swing. Three. Very good. Three rows on the left. One. Two. Three. Very good. Pistol on the left. One. Two. Three. Ooh, that gets hard. All right, three rows on the right. Nope. Three swings. One. Two. Three. Three rows on the right. One, two, three. Three pistols on the right. Here we go. That's one. That's two. Three. Wow, that is tough. Squat high pull for three. One, two, three. Nice. Mark it down. I'm actually really on round four because I messed up with my counting so many times that I had to restart. So I'm extra exhausted by the time that we're at this round four, so. All right, you ready to go? Four reps of everything. Ninja swings. One. Reset it. Two. Extra balance. Three. Ooh, four. All right. Swings. Standard swings. There we go. One, two, three, four. Rows on the right for four. One, two, Three, four, up and squeeze. Pistols on the right. One, two, this isn't easy. Three, be patient with yourself. Push. Four, very good. Squat high pull for four. You having fun, man? I'm having a blast. One, two, three, four. Very good. My oldest son is very serious. He's an old soul, and we 
you took him to do something he really wanted to do the other night and his face just looked very flat, very serious. And later when we asked him if he had a good time, he's like, yeah, I had a blast. So <laughs> even if you can't tell on my face that I'm having a blast with this workout, just know that like him, I'm having a blast. <laughs> All right, round five is next. There we go. One. Ninja swings or surrender swings. Two. Three. Four. Five. Very good. Let's row it out. Five reps on the left. One, row back towards that hip. Two, three, four, and five. These pistols are gonna be really hard for me on this leg, especially with the weight, so I may drop it if I need to. Hopefully not on my toe. All right, here we go. One, two, putting that weight out in front helps you balance. Three, four, keep your core super tight. Five, Whew. swings for five. One, two, Three, four, five. Very good. Let's get those rows on the right. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. Five pistols on the right. One, two, three, four, really push, this is hard, five, Whew, that last one was ugly, but we made it, here we go, five squat high pulls, one, two, Three, four, five. Round five is finished. Good job. Marking it down. We grab a towel and wipe off. All right, you have three rounds left. Get your mind right. If you need extra time to recover, take it. If you want to take that bell out for your pistols this round. Go ahead and do that. And let's see how we do here. Whew. And ready for round number six. Here we go, ninja swings. One, reset. Two, you're super crazy at the top, at the top of the ninja. Three, just don't jump on your bell. Four. Five. Starting off with a bang here. Six. Oh, nice. Let's row it out on the left. Six reps. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh. This 
muscles for sex. Yuck. <laughs> Gonna be fine. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Wobble. Four. Five. Last one. Six. <laughs> Messy, but finished. All right. Six swings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Rows on the right. One. Two, squeeze. Three, four, you can do this. Five, six. All right. All right. Six pistols. All right. Whoop, wobble. Here we go, save it. Good job. One. struggling guys. Six. Very good. We made it. Let's get this squat. High pulls knocked out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Whew. That was a doozy. All right, the seventh and eighth round are gonna be really hard. It's the most reps we've done of anything. And it's at the end of a lot of reps that we've already done. So, I want you to get your mind right, okay? Make whatever modifications you need to do with the moves, but keep in it, keep with it, okay? I want my voice to be the one you hear in your head telling you that you're strong and powerful and that you can do this, okay? Let whatever voice that tells you you're not enough just go away and replace it with mine right now, okay? Because I know that you can do anything that you set your mind to, okay? So, let's get into that seventh round. And likewise, I'm going to try to hear your voices inside my head because you always say the most wonderful things. All right, round seven. Seven reps of everything. One. Two. Three. Start to surrender. The tucks are too, or the ninjas are too hard. Four. Five. Just don't surrender for real and quit. Six. One more. Seven. Woo, that one was ugly, but we got it done. All right. Rows on the left. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very good. I think I'm going to leave the weight out for this round for the pistols, just to see how I do, okay? Here we go. More off balance without the weight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Here we go. Six. Last one. Shake it out. 
almost there. Seven. Fought hard for that balance. All right, swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucky number seven. All right, rows on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last one, seven. All right, seven pistols on the right. Yikes. Here we go. One. You have one more round to go. There's absolutely nothing standing in your way now, okay? Just your mind. So take a quick break, a drink, and we'll knock out eight reps of everything. If you're like, come on, we can't do this, it's not even hard enough, go up to 10. And I think you'll be probably pleasantly cooked. Do it. Let's get it over with. Let's show ourselves that we can do what we set out to do, okay? There we go. Again, sub your surrenders if you need to, okay? One. We're going for eight. Two. Tighten that core. Three. Four, party time. Five. Oh, six. Make sure to pick up those toes. Seven. There we go. Eight. Okay, if you stumble, just keep going. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last row, and eight. comes that pistol. Take them out. Here we go. Get my balance. One, but I still did it. There we go. Two. Deep, deep. Oh, push. 
eight. Good job. All right, swings for eight. One, two, squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's row it on the right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Very good. Whew. Lousy. That's what my grandpa used to say. Okay. Eight pistols on the right. Last set of pistols. Own that, okay? One. Two. Three. Four. Four more. Five. They're getting wild. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. I like the wild hands. All right. However, you gotta get it done. Here we go. Eight. Squat high pulls. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, mark that off. Oh. Give yourself a pat on the back. High fives. You made it through a really brutal rep pyramid. So, towel it off. Get your weights selected for your next round of fun, which is a hit set, and I'll see you back here for that. All right, guys, I hope you had a good break. We are back for your 45-15 hit set, okay? We're starting off with double kettlebell burpees. If you do not have two big kettlebells, use dumbbells here, do whatever you need to do. I'm gonna add a deadlift to these burpees. You can jump if you want, but I think I'm gonna do a deadlift burpee, okay? Then we're gonna do some shrugs, so same dumbbells for that. Single arm snatch, you're gonna need a lighter kettlebell or dumbbell overhead tricep extensions, and then single arm snatches on the right and curls with a press out. So, ah, it's gonna be fun. We have this set two times, so about 12 minutes here. You have 15 seconds between each move to recover, sorta. <laughs> All right, double kettlebell burpees are first. I'm gonna do my push-up right on the bells. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, don't do it. I'm gonna deadlift at the top. You could also jump if you want to do that, okay? Good job, you're about halfway there. Focus on the quality of your movements. Squeeze, especially if your bells aren't super heavy. Five seconds. Very good. All right. I'm going to use these same 30 pounds for my shrugs. Working on our trapezius muscle right there. My favorite quote from one of my friend's husbands the first time he saw me on a video was, Dang, that girl's got some traps on her. So, if you want somebody to say, dang, you've got some traps on you, do some shrugs with some heavy kettlebells or dumbbells. You're halfway through. It's okay if your lip comes up or you make a really weird face. It's just kind of natural with this move. You're in your house. Just be comfortable. 
doing all the weird things. Five seconds. Woo! Nice. I think I'm just going to use a 15 pound kettlebell for this next move. This is a challenge for your balance, for your core strength and shoulder strength. So single arm snatch. I'm going to do my split lunge style. Because my wrist is still a little wonky. So my transfer isn't going to be super fast but or super smooth. But I'm just glad that my wrist is able to do this today without any pain. Take a light bell or a dumbbell, especially if this is not a super familiar move for you. I promise you'll get your strength and cardio in no matter what you use for this move. Very good. Overhead tricep extensions. We'll start with my 20 bell and if it feels too light, then we'll get the other. After that snatch, this feels pretty good. These are longer intervals, so you might not always be able to use your heaviest weight. If you're starting to arch your back, step one foot back for good stability and better form. You have about 10 seconds. And we'll get that snatch on the right. Because why not? Very good. Single arm snatch on the right. I'm doing mine with a bit of a split lunge. That is not the right bell, even a little. <laughs> Here we go. Last move in this set. Whew. All right. So curl, press out, down. Curl, press out, down. Now, you can also hold your bell this way. Okay, whatever works for you. I'm using 20 pounds here. Normally I would use my 30 bell, but I still feel it in that left wrist pretty good. So just kind of taking it easy on the weight there. And to be honest, it doesn't feel too easy. Two, one. Ooh, kettlebell strength and cardio. You are doing the trick, okay? All right, happy September, friends. <clears throat> Here we go. Double kettlebell burpees because this is your second round. Here we go. Squeeze. short. I don't have to death lift those bells very far. Make sure you squeeze on the top, especially if your bells aren't super heavy. Like This is not a heavy deadlift for me, but I'm focusing on squeezing, controlling the movement, 
and it will still be effective. Very good. Set him down for a minute. We're going to get some traps on you. There we go. Might as well think about your trapezius muscles. Think about drawing those shoulders toward your ears. Usually we don't want to do that with a lot of moves. But with the shrug, absolutely. Shrug those shoulders and squeeze. About five seconds. Two. One. <clears throat> nice. Putting those down. You have that single arm snatch. On the left. Two. One. This one always gets me nice and off balance. So if you're the same way, make sure and when you jump and get that weight above your head, you also tighten your core, okay? You can leave the jump out and just do a shoulder press here, okay? Very high energy movement. Need some good coordination and timing. Whew. You get that done, so don't feel bad if it's not going as well as you'd like. Like anything worth doing, it's a process, okay? Overhead tries with extensions. Already feeling it in that left tricep. Hope you are too. We're getting there. Over halfway done. And we'll have that snatch on the right. Curls and press outs. You'll be done with this set. 10 seconds. Step the foot back. If you are starting to arch that back. Three, two, one. Whew. Ouch. Shake them out. Wipe it off, especially if you got bells. You don't want a slippery bell. No siree. Got those snatches. We're whipping that bell around, flipping the wrist. Driving the arm up as the leg goes back. All while tightening our core, trying to have some sort of semblance of balance here. Halfway there. I know your legs are cooked from that pyramid and everything else so far. But this is the last time you have to do this. Stick with me. Even if you have to take that weight down. Good job. Good times. A lot of fun. Okay. Last curl press out. All right. However you want to hold this. You want to crush grip. out in getting a little chest along with some biceps there squeeze the chest when you press it out slow it down on the way in get the most out of every movement don't focus on what's going on the rest of the day focus on your muscles 
so that you can get the most out of whatever kind of time you have to spend. Very good. Oh. Well, guess what that means? It doesn't mean the 80s have called because of that rotary phone ring. It means that you are finished with your hit set. So, awesome job. I cannot say enough about your strength and your fortitude, mentally and physically. But you take a minute and get wiped off. No, I'm proud of you. And we're going to go into some true, true Tabata, easy for me to say, suitcase sit-ups, okay? Eight rounds of those. I'm going to add a small kettlebell to this work here, okay? So get everything ready for that, and I'll see you back here for some true Tabata. All right, guys, it is true Tabata time, and we are doing some suitcase sit-ups. I have a 15-pound kettlebell here. You have a couple options here. You could do a just regular through the window sit up. You can take that weight behind your head if you have room, do a sit up, or you can do suitcase sit ups with me, okay? And this is how I'm gonna do them, okay? So you could also take that weight up and over your head if you wanna do that. I will leave that up to you. Whatever you do, you have eight rounds of it, so choose wisely. <laughs> All right, three seconds. Get your mind right, get your bell right. Here we go. Ten to go. Three, two, one. All right, how you doing? I'm gonna turn around this way so you don't feel like I have your back, my back to you. Here we go. And I'm downhill, so everyone wins there. The memory card on my camera ran out, so I've already done two rounds of this. So I'm gonna be doing like 10 rounds of Tabata, so. If I get super wimpy towards the end here, or towards the middle, or towards the beginning, you'll know why. I have a little bit of an excuse. But I think setbacks like that just help us get better. So whereas I would have only had eight rounds of this, now I've had 10. <laughs> Two, one. Whew. Take it out, stretch it out. You can always drop that weight if you need to. Okay? Here we go. Cool thing about weighted abs is they really just help strengthen that muscle so that when you really lose overall body fat, have the proper nutrition, you can see those amazingly strong muscles. So, remember we can't spot reduce with suitcase sit-ups. We can only strengthen the muscle underneath. And when we have the proper nutrition, do some good cardiovascular exercise, and get all that in balance, we'll be able to see those abs. Whew. Oh, core strength is important whether you never see a six pack on your body or not. So do not forsake it. it. Helps you with everything you do. I also think weighted abs help trick us into doing abs because they feel more like weightlifting. So if you don't love abs but you do love weightlifting, then weighted abs might be the thing that tricks you into doing abdominal work. All right, we have two more rounds. Oh. Plant those feet if you need to. Do a crunch. Do a regular sit up. Whatever it takes. Eight seconds. Then you just have one more. You really notice the downhill slope of this house when you do sit-ups this direction. Whew. 
especially with the weight. Almost done here, guys. I would love to tell you that you're completely finished, but you are completely finished with your true Tabata abs. So, awesome job on that one. We are moving on to the final challenge in this workout, and that is gonna be double kettlebell reverse lunges. Now we're also doing this Tabata style, but instead of alternating legs with each interval, we're gonna do the first four on one leg, the second four on the other gonna make it a little more challenging. So if you have to alternate, don't worry, just keep with it. Um, I'm just doing the four on one side to add a little extra flavor, a little extra challenge, and a little extra fun, okay? So I'm gonna grab two thirties here. And we will get started. If you need an extra break from that ab torture, I get it. Take it. Now, these might feel extra heavy, extra challenging because of all those pistols you did. So if you need to lower your weight, absolutely go ahead. If you want to do them body weight and do some runner's lunge toe taps, just like this. Also a fantastic glute burner. All right, whatever you decide to do, do it well, do it with integrity. Do it with a nice, tight core, and know that you're awesome, okay? Here we go. Into that hip, push through the heel for some good glute work. Keep the core tight. Excellent. Same leg. Ooh, yucky. <laughs> the best kind of yuck. Here we go. Found a booger on my floor this morning, and I thought, you know what? If you haven't found a booger on your floor, are you really a mom? So, picked that bad boy up, made sure it wasn't in my video. Didn't even try to think about who left it there and moved on. So here's your third set. Keep that core tight. One more set on this side and one. Very good. That leg is burning. Burning, burning, burning. It's amazing what you don't get grossed out by anymore as a parent. I used to just dread all through school seeing anybody throw up or smelling any smells. Now I'm like full on catching all the bodily fluids as they go. And not worrying a bit about it. Whew. Whew. All right, we're starting on that second leg. Here we go. Ah, this one feels nice and raw for stabilizing us for the first four rounds. Okay, good job. Three more to go, and you will be finished with this workout. So keep your mind strong, even when your muscles don't feel so strong. Felt my shoulders slump in there, so I roll the shoulders back, squeeze my shoulder blades together and got reset. All right, you have two more. You can do this. 
10 seconds is not enough. Pause it so you feel like you can safely complete the move. Oh yeah. Party time. Last one. There we go. 20 seconds. whole entire day. It just might make it go a little better. Whew. You guys, you have crushed your September Patriots Choice workout. I hope it didn't completely crush you. Get wiped off. Whew. Thank your amazing body for what it's done. And I will see you back here for your cool down. Awesome job. All right, guys, time to thank your amazing body for what it's done today. A good cool down. We're just going to start by clasping the hands. And we're going to pretend we have a kettlebell in our arms. We're going to do it in around the world just to make sure we don't have any tension in our shoulders or lats or traps. Let's do one more each side. Awesome. All right, now let's go into a little bit of a mobility routine. Reach up nice and high. Walk it down slowly, getting a nice stretch in those hamstrings as you come down into a runner's lunge stretch. You can lower that knee. Open up the chest. And look up towards your thumb to get a nice neck stretch here. Sweep the hand underneath the other armpit and take it up one more time. All right, place that hand to the right of that left leg and then turn that knee out, opening up the hip. You can press on it with your left hand if you'd like to. And come back up. Back into plank, walk the hands back up, hang out here for a second, stretch those hamstrings, come back up, reach and stretch nice and high, and walk it down slowly again. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, nice slow trip down the mat, nice runner's lunge stretch, reach up, look toward that thumb. Thread that needle under the other arm and come back up. All right, both hands to the left of that right foot. Open up that hip. Show yourself the bottom of your foot. Push on that knee if you need to. Open it up. into plank. Shift both hips back into a downward facing dog. Pedal out those calves while you're there. Push back. Push into your palms so that you feel it in your lats. And heel toe, heel toe in. Little hamstring stretch from here. shoulders a bit and reverse it. Shoulder stretch. We'll go to the right shoulder. Tricep stretch, same side. Pat yourself on the back. into a shoulder stretch on the left. Back 
to a tricep stretch on the left. And release those fingers, round out the spine. Chest. All right, let's take care of your neck. So, I want you to first start by making some circles. And then clockwise. And switch directions. Hang loose. I want you to take your right hand, place it on the left side of your head, and gently guide the ear toward the shoulder. Right. Switch sides, left hand to the right side. Slowly and then lift. Chin to chest. Lift the chin. One more. Chin to chest. Lift the chin. Alright, let's do some inhales and exhales and we'll be all done. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Feel the stretch in your abs as you inhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Hope you guys are feeling amazing. If you need to stretch some more, go right ahead. If not, I will see you back up at the camera. All right, guys. Awesome job today crushing your September Patron's Choice workout. I hope you had so much fun. I hope you had a cardiovascular as well as a strength challenge with this workout, okay? So now what I need you to do, as always, is get a lot of water in your body today. Get a healthy post-workout meal 30 to 90 minutes after this workout and make sure that you are kind to your body today and always in letting it recover um, and helping it by stretching some more or foam rolling, whatever you need to do, okay? Make sure that you rest because as we know, and as I say all the time, if you don't let your muscles rest, if you don't feed them well, if you don't hydrate them well, they cannot repair and grow, okay? So you'll just continue to break your muscles down instead of building them back up, okay? All right, other than that, um, tell your family and friends about us. Make sure that they subscribe to our channel on YouTube as well so that they can become as healthy and as fit as they've ever been and hopefully develop a really healthy, positive relationship with their own bodies as well, okay? Have an amazing week. Make sure to love those difficult people and make sure that when you crush a difficult challenge, no matter where you find it in your life, you hear my voice in your head or whoever's voice um, that just encourages you, um, tells you how great you are, tells you that you can do anything you set your mind to, okay? So let's try to get those negative voices that give us fear and doubt out of our heads and let's pick that voice that um, just shows us how deeply we're loved and how capable we are, okay? So that's your challenge for this week. And be that voice for somebody else, obviously, too, okay? So whether this kettlebell workout made you feel very capable, sorry, that was really bad, or <laughs> Whether it totally rang your bell, you finished. And as always, it is your health today and every day. So you know what you got to do. You better hit it hard. Boom. Have an awesome day, guys. An awesome rest of September. An awesome start of October. And I'll see you soon.